Hey, Jaden. How are you, man? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I, I just wonder, going into conference play this year, uh, not having had the, the, the non-conference slate that you normally would have, has that changed practice at all? Has that changed anything about the way you're approaching it? Um, not personally as a team. I mean, I, I think it just made us even stronger and even more um, ready to play. I think not having those um, non-conference games just made us more hungry and more ready. We've been off for three, four months without football, no spring football, and um, basically no summer. So I think we have a lot of guys on this team that are um, ready to play and ready for the challenge. Thank you. Hey, Ryan Aper with the Oklahoman, and then Eric Bailey. Yeah, Jaden, what do you remember from, from last year's game against Kansas State, uh, both during the game, preparation before, and the way that y'all responded afterward? Um, I believe that we approached the game like we did any other week. Um, I believe that the outcome didn't come like the way we wanted to, obviously, but I believe that um, we just approached that game like we did any other week, um, and that we're going to do that with this game as well. Okay, Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World, and then Joe Bettner. Hey, Jay, I want to ask you about Pat Fields. Uh, he really has big shoes to fill with Kenneth Murray's departure. Uh, as a captain, what, is, what has Pat's leadership qualities been like this season, especially going through the past six months with this pandemic? Uh, I was able to really grow stronger with Pat over this pandemic, just over the phone and sending videos back and forth. I believe he's an amazing leader. I'll be the first one to say I voted for him three. I'll vote for him three times if I could. Um, I love Pat as a leader. He's going to push you. He's going to go out there and he's going to lead by example as well. And he's not going to let you slack off. He's not going to let this team slack off. Um, 26 takeaways was our goal. And he, he's a living testament of it in practice. He's going out there making plays. So I believe um, Pat Fields would be a key part, and I believe he'll fill that role perfectly. Thanks a bunch, Jaden. No problem. OK, let's go to Joe Bettner and then Bob Prisbillo. Hey, Jaden, just with uh, only having non -conference, or one non-conference game and then having a bye week right after, how were those practices like this past week for you, especially as a defense that obviously probably you know wants to make some big strides this season, but how did you personally and how do you think the defense approached this past week? I mean, as Cody Green said, um, we got to beat by. We got to beat by this week and um, we got to continue to progress. Um, we, have, we have big goals. We have to take it week by week and this week is Kansas State. So with that in mind, we just went in and attacked this week like we would any other week. I would say we've gone hard. I would say that we strained to the ball, and we focused on physicality this week. So, yeah. He makes a lot of plays continuously, and he elevates everybody, um, Pat as well. So I felt like that, that unit, that's what also makes us different from last year, that everybody's pushing each other to become better, and uh, um, it's a race to 26 takeaways. Do you, do you feel that that's even more important this year with the limited training camp that you guys had? And guys haven't gotten as many reps as in the past that that's something that really benefit you guys more even more so this year yes I felt like um we got closer actually than last year even with the time off even with everything I felt like it made it made us even closer believe it or not it made us um we talked to each other a lot more than we did last year we can't really hang out as much because of the corona deal so um just talking on the phone when we're at practice we're giving each other more tips than we were last year we're just, I felt like we're competing more with the offense more than last year. So I just feel like it just made all around and made this team better.